Hello everyone, welcome to The Wealthiest, where you will learn the ins and outs of the world's elite, how they live and how they spend their accumulated wealth. Let's get started. Today we'll be digging into the life of Spain's Princess Leonor. She is one of the youngest heirs to a royal throne in the world. Born in 2005, she is the eldest daughter of King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia. At just 17 years old, she is already preparing for a life of immense wealth and privilege. In this video, we will take a closer look at the billionaire lifestyle of Spain's future queen. Royal Wealth the Spanish royal family is one of the wealthiest royal families in Europe. Their wealth comes from various sources, including inheritances, investments, and public funds allocated for their activities and maintenance. According to Forbes, King Felipe VI, the head of the Spanish royal family, has a net worth of approximately $20 million. This net worth includes assets such as real estate, investments, and other personal assets. The royal family also receives an annual grant from the Spanish government, which covers their expenses for official duties and other activities. The Spanish royal family has access to numerous palaces and residences, including the famous Royal Palace of Madrid, which is valued at approximately $1.5 billion. Other properties include the Maravent Palace in Mallorca, the Zarzuela Palace in Madrid, and the Palace of San Telmo in Seville, among others. The family also has access to private yachts and jets, which they use for official and personal travel. In addition to their personal wealth, the Spanish royal family also has has an impact on the country's economy. The tourism industry benefits greatly from the royal family's popularity, with visitors coming from all over the world to catch a glimpse of the royal family and visit their palaces and other residences. It is estimated that the Spanish royal family's impact on the economy is in the billions of dollars. It is important to note that the Spanish royal family's wealth is not without controversy. Some criticize the amount of public funds allocated to their activities and expenses, arguing that the money could be better used elsewhere. Others argue that the royal family's wealth and influence perpetuate class inequality in Spanish society. Despite the controversies surrounding their wealth, the Spanish royal family remains one of the wealthiest and most influential royal families in Europe. Their immense wealth and access to luxurious amenities and properties set them apart from many other families and individuals in Spain and around the world. Education Princess Leonor, as a member of the Spanish royal family, has received an education that befits her position as a future queen. Her education has been carefully planned to provide her with the necessary knowledge, skills, and values to prepare her for a life of leadership, service, and responsibility. Princess Leonor began her formal education at the Santa Maria de los Rosales School in Madrid, a private institution that has educated many members of the Spanish royal family. She then attended the bilingual private school Colgio Santa Maria de los Rosales, where she studied the International Baccalaureate program. In 2020, Princess Leonor moved to the United World College Atlantic College in Wales to continue her studies. The UWC is a prestigious international school that offers an IB program focused on leadership, sustainability, sustainability, and community service. The school is known for its diverse student body and its emphasis on experiential learning and global citizenship. The annual tuition for UWC Atlantic College is approximately $85,000, and Princess Leonor's attendance was covered by the Spanish government. Princess Leonor's education has not only focused on academics, but also on extracurricular activities and community service. She has participated in a variety of cultural and social events, including award ceremonies, concerts, and sporting events. She has also been involved in various charitable organizations, such as the Spanish Red Cross and the Princess of Asturias Foundation. Princess Leonor's education is designed to prepare her for her future role as the Queen of Spain. She is expected to represent the country and uphold its traditions and values, and to use her position to promote social, cultural, and economic development. With her education and experience, Princess Leonor is well prepared for the challenges and responsibilities of her future reign travel and events. As a member of the Spanish royal family, Princess Leonor has had the opportunity to travel to many exotic and luxurious destinations around the world. She has attended a number of high-profile events, both in Spain and abroad, where she has represented her country and met with other members of the global elite. One of the most notable events that Princess Leonor has attended is the Princess of Asturias Award Ceremony, which is held annually in Oviedo, Spain. The Princess of Asturias Awards are presented to individuals or groups who have made significant contributions in the fields of science, culture, and public affairs. The ceremony is attended by many prominent figures from around the world, including heads of state, Nobel Prize laureates, 
and other distinguished guests. While her travels and attendance at events may be seen as extravagant by some, they are an important part of Princess Leonor's role as a future Queen of Spain. These experiences have provided her with valuable insights and connections that will be useful in her future role as a representative of her country and a global ambassador for Spain. It is worth noting that Princess Leonor's travel and attendance at events are subject to strict protocols and guidelines established by the Spanish royal household. These protocols ensure that her travels and attendance at events are appropriate, safe, and beneficial to her development as a future leader. Expensive Luxuries as a member of the Spanish royal family, Princess Leonor has access to some of the most exclusive and luxurious fashion and jewelry brands in the world. She is often seen wearing high-end designer clothing and accessories, which are custom-made to fit her personal style and taste. Princess Leonor's wardrobe consists of a wide range of designer clothing, including dresses, skirts, and jackets, as well as more casual wear, such as jeans and t-shirts. She is often dressed in elegant and sophisticated outfits for public appearances, such as state visits, official receptions, and other formal events. Her wardrobe includes pieces from many well-known fashion designers, such as Carolina Herrera, Felipe Verla, and Dolce & Gabbana. In addition to her clothing, Princess Leonor also has a collection of high-end jewelry, including rings, bracelets, necklaces, and earrings. Her jewelry collection is carefully curated and includes pieces from many prestigious jewelry brands, such as Cartier, Tiffany & Co., and Bulgari. She has been seen wearing a diamond and sapphire tiara, which is a traditional accessory worn by Spanish royal brides. While Princess Leonor's wardrobe and jewelry collection may be seen as extravagant by some, they are an important part of her role as a future Queen of Spain. Her fashion choices and personal style are carefully curated to reflect her status as a representative of her country and the Spanish royal family. These guidelines ensure that her fashion choices are appropriate and respectful, and that they reflect her role as a future leader of Spain. Future Reign as a future Queen of Spain, Princess Leonor will have many important responsibilities. She will be expected to represent her country at home and abroad and to act as a unifying figure for the Spanish people. She will also have a ceremonial role, attending important events and ceremonies, and performing important symbolic duties. In addition to her ceremonial and representational duties, Princess Leonor will also have a role in the governance of Spain. While the Spanish monarchy is largely symbolic and ceremonial, the king or queen does have certain constitutional powers and responsibilities, such as appointing the prime minister and other government officials. Princess Leonor will be expected to exercise these powers responsibly and with a sense of impartiality. Overall, Princess Leonor's future reign is expected to be one of stability and continuity reflecting the values and traditions of the Spanish monarchy. As she prepares for her future role as queen, we can only imagine what her life will be like as one of the world's youngest billionaires. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please comment below on your favorite part of Princess Leonor. If you loved the video, please like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another amazing video. Until then, we look forward to seeing you in our next video.